as thought as I'm watering the landscape it dawned on me everybody needs water everybody needs water vegetation the animals cows pigs chickens orangutan Buffalo, everybody needs water. People, male, female, whatever they call themselves, it doesn't matter. Whatever group that they're part of, it doesn't matter. Everybody needs water. Water has been given by God. And as I was watering this vegetation, I had this thought that water provides nourishment for everybody. That's the one thing that is universal. No matter what country you live in, no matter what side of the track you grew up on, you needed water. Now what has happened is is that people have created other liquids to satisfy us. And if you notice, those other liquids can only satisfy temporarily, whether it's alcohol, whether it's a beverage, like coffee, soda, Cavassier, wine, whether it's white or red wine, those liquids do not satisfy constantly. How do I know? Because at some point, the effects of those liquids are going to wear off. And then what it means is we got to drink them again and again and again and again. And we're never satisfied with those liquids. But with water, water satisfies. Water nourishes. And it nourishes everyone. Now everyone doesn't drink coffee. Everyone doesn't drink soda pop. And depending on who you are, you have your favorite soda pop. But if you be honest with yourself, after, even after drinking soda pop, you're thirsty. So what are you going to do? Get some water. So water is the only liquid that comes from God that satisfies. Now, as I study the word, the Bible, there are times where I come across the word Water, and every time I come across the word water, it's associated with God. For example, as the deer panted for the waters of my soul, long is after thee, you alone are my heart, desire, and I long to worship thee. That's a song that was written based upon a psalm that was written by David. And David said, as the deer panted for the water brook, oh, my soul longeth after thee. So as the deer is thirsty and quenching its thirst, I am thirsty for you, oh God. And I remember when Jesus said, they that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Quench my thirst, O oh God. I'm thirsting for you. Mm. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Here's my cup. I lift it up. Make me whole. Here's my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord, come and quench this thirsting of 
my soul, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Here's my cup, I lift it up, please make me whole. So the word for today is water. Allow God to water the thirsting of your heart. In Jesus' name, God bless you.